final of the women's 63 kilo category. Belarus in blue, Ooh. in the white, sorry, and Great Britain in blue. A very feisty start with these two. So a size, very evenly matched. Very excited. Mm. You always hold your breath thinking what's going to happen, but that's a lovely drop seeing Aggie from... She won this medal. Oh, she yeah. does. There's no two ways about it. She really... Jemima. An outstanding performer. Great potential for Great Britain for the future. And already has picked up some very good, impressive medals along the way so far ticking all the boxes as far as a performer is concerned. So Shido there being awarded to Belarus. Lady Jemima now looking into the Niwaza. She's very, very confident down there. Just, just hitting first every time off that grip. Daniela really now working in that arm lock. She's, she's taking it out. There is the pressure, but the one thing with Jemima, she's really, really flexible. Yeah. She's double jointed and the flexibility, the range that she has, it's quite scary really. It doesn't look right half the time, but um, it does get her out of a lot of trouble. Very, very flexible indeed. Oh, she missed an opportunity there with the Oso Tagari. Oh. But um, a great attack there for Daniela. Good, great, Britain. Good attempt there of a Makakomi. Just didn't have the secure grip on the upper body. If she'd had that head, it would have been a different story altogether. Again, nice and deep. A good knockdown, but just failing to get that score. But as you can see, very confident down there in the Niwaza. And she wrote, so look at the flexibility of her. But I, I, I see, this is where we're talking about, she's so bendy. And sometimes I just think she, she teases her opponent by giving them the arm as if to say, go and have a go. And it's so frustrating, you watch, and you're horrified to think how, what a range of movement she has. She leads. So she's up now in the, well, we've got two Shidos on the board now for Belarus. Oh, oh goodness me, well, that was a lovely drop in Aggie. And a good aerial awareness there from Jemima. See that? Yes. So flexible, it's unbelievable. I can't believe. You really? see once more, like that drop. Oh, she could. Aerial awareness spun yes. from something that looked like was going for 10. Oh, oh, goodness me, she fell right into that. I can't believe. She's oh, so flexible. She, she is. So 53 seconds left in this contest. But the Belarusian is up on a Yuko now. Also has two Shidos. Oh. I'm nervous. Not as much as I am. <laughs> I'm holding my breath, thinking what's going to happen. But this Belarusian is really piling on the pressure yes. now. She she's just, she's stepped up another level now. 
and Jemima has um, really now got to focus and be a bit more directive in her approach of what she's trying to set up here. That drop C and Aggie, if she's going to come in, it's got to work lovely. Oh, oh Chigari! Oh, and she almost. changes it nicely, but just didn't have any more drive off that back leg. She tried to do near as She know. didn't have, yeah, yeah, she didn't have the range. Well, tactically, seven seconds yeah. to go. That's what you would do if it with the opposition. But, oh! Oh, yes! Oh, my God. Oh, well... Sadly for Katie Jemima Yates Brown, it wasn't to be a, a, a fifth place that we all say we don't like. But my goodness me, this young lady from Great Britain has the worked. She's worked for that fifth place. Yeah. She really has. But um, you can't take it away from this young lady from Belarus who has just performed excellently throughout the day, has been a consistent performer, has really battled her way throughout the the stages in this tournament and now has picked up the bronze medal. So Daniela Canzano takes the bronze medal home to Belarus and she'll be delighted with that performance. And a well deserved.